Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Let's do some recap of the characteristic of equilibrium constant. So we have used the equilibrium constant. We have solved a couple of questions now based on this. Let's do a recap of the characteristic of the equilibrium constant. The first characteristic says that this is applicable only when the concentration of reactants and products have reached equilibrium. That means this Kc is applicable only when the whole system is in equilibrium, not at the initial state. Only when the system is in equilibrium, Kc is applicable. And it has a definite value for a given temperature. That's what I say. You always have to give a temperature at which the Kc is having some value. So temperature plays a critical role here. right? The value of this equilibrium constant, it changed with temperature. And how it changed? For endothermic reaction, it increased with rising temperature. For exothermic, it decreased with rising temperature. We'll discuss this, how it becomes. We'll talk about something called Lee Charter Principle, where we'll discuss why it happened like this. It is independent of initial concentration. So it doesn't matter initially how much, how many moles of uh, reactants you are taking. It is the Kc values independent of initial concentration. For reversible reaction, the equilibrium constant of a reverse reaction is nothing but 1 by equilibrium constant of the forward reaction, right? So we have given this thing that K dash C is nothing but 1 by Kc. When I say that K dash C is nothing but equilibrium constant for the reverse reaction and Kc is equilibrium constant for the forward reaction. And the sixth point says that the equilibrium constant K for the reaction is related to the equilibrium constant of the corresponding reaction. So that means I told if you want to define the equilibrium constant, you have to give the reaction also because for the same reaction, for example, like uh, C plus O2 is CO2. For this reaction, and 2C plus 2O2 gives 2CO2. You see, both reactions look same to me, right? Only the difference is. I have multiplied uh, this reaction with 2 to get this. But for both these reactions, the Kc value will change. So to give a particular Kc value for a given system, I have to give the reaction plus temperature both. And the equilibrium constant is independent of catalyst. You add catalyst, the equilibrium constant won't change. The speed of reaction will change. Maybe uh, if, if you don't add catalyst, if it takes, let's suppose, 10 hours to reach equilibrium with catalyst, it may reach equilibrium in one hour, you never know. So catalyst will increase the rate of reactions, but it will not impact the Kc value because it increase or decrease the rate of reaction for both forward and backward reaction. It has different units in different reactions. We'll uh, talk more about this. Uh, we have seen that in uh, numericals also, sometimes the Kc doesn't have units, sometimes the Kc has more per liter unit, sometimes more per liter square, sometimes more per liter sigma minus one. So it has different units. There is no specific unit for this uh, equilibrium constant. When addition of two equilibrium leads to another equilibrium, then the equilibrium product of their equilibrium constant gives the equilibrium constant of the result. We'll take, we'll take this in the next few slides when we'll say that there are two uh, reaction 1, so reaction 1 and reaction 2 and for this I have Kc1 and Kc2 are my equilibrium constant and if you add these, my net Kc will be nothing but Kc1 into Kc2. We'll take this in the next few slides where we'll explain this. So they told that we'll take this units of equilibrium constant. The unit of equilibrium constant is not same always. So if the number of moles uh, of the product is same as the number of moles per reactant, there is no unit for K. You see in this case, if you see K will not have any unit. But if the number of moles of product is not equal to the number of moles of reactant, then K will have the unit depending on the change in number of moles. And if you want to find um, the uh, general formula, the unit of Kc will be moles per liter to the power delta n. The unit of Kp will be bar to the power delta n. So if delta n is 0, there is no unit because this becomes 0. If delta 1 is n, this becomes moles per liter. If delta n is minus 1, this becomes moles per liter to the power minus 1. So this is the unit general formula 
for KC and KP because KP is in a bar, so it's bar to bar delta n, and KC is in terms of concentration, there is similarity, moles per liter, so moles per liter to the bar delta. So for example, in this case, my delta n is what? 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So in this case, my KC unit will be mole per liter to the power minus 2. And KP unit will be bar to the power minus 2. Correct. Let's talk about the addition of equilibrium which I told. So as I told, when you add two equilibrium, you have to multiply. For example, in this case, I have N2 plus O2 was giving me 2NO. And this 2NO plus O2 was giving me 2NO2. If I add these two equations, if I add K1 and K2, what you get is N2 plus 2O2, right? This 2NO2 and cancel gives NO2, correct? So in this case, if you see K1 into K3 will become K2. See, you are adding these two to get this. And logically also it is correct. You see, K1 is what? K1 is what? NO square by N2 and O2 and K2 is what? NO2 square by O2 and NO square right so if you multiply K1 K2 what you will get let me show you you will get NO square by N2 O2 into NO2 square O2 NO square. They cancel. Right? So what you get is NO2 square N2 and O2 square. Correct? Now let's find K3. K3 if you find independently you will get NO2 to the power 2 right divide by n2 and o2 to the power 2 so if you see both are same thus if you see k1 into k2 is nothing but k3 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again